Good morning. Today is Saturday, December 31st, 2022, and it is day number 357 in my fasting journey, and it is day number seven in my week of freedom. And so this week I gave to myself the gift of freedom where I did not have to track anything. I did not track my weight this week. I did not track the meals that I consumed this week, including the calories and carbs of those meals. I did not track the exercise that I've done this week. And I also have not tracked my fasting hours. And so even though I am not tracking my fasting hours, I do know that I'm probably around the 40 hour mark of my current fast. And the reason why I know this is because my body has operated like clockwork since the very first round of rolling 72s and always around the 40 hour mark, I start to feel a little bit hungry. And so right now I'm feeling a bit hungry. And so I will be having a New Year's Eve refeed with my family today. And so my mom will be making black beans and cornbread for dinner. And I know that it is not exactly low carb. And I've been trying to stick with a low carb diet throughout this year, but I am going to allow myself to have this meal with my family. I'm going to, you know, enjoy it without guilt. And then as soon as I finish my very last bite of food, I am going to begin my very first round of rolling 48s. And so I just wanted to say that the Rolling 72s have been an absolute blessing for me this year. I started Rolling 72s on March 1st of this year and I made it um, over 90 rounds of them where, you know, I will fast for 72 hours, have a refeed, and then, you know, start another round of fasting. And um, the Rolling 72s helped me keep the weight off that I lost when I did my 40-day uh, water fast at the beginning of the year. And the Rolling 72s got me within 10.8 pounds from my ultimate goal weight. Um, the last I checked when I got on the scale, I was at 119.8 pounds. But the Rolling 72s have run their course. I am no longer able to do them with ease. When I get to the last day, I usually struggle. And um, it's gotten to the point now where it's starting to really interfere with my life. And so I am going to, you know, drop down to 48s and see how that goes for me. And it may be that I have to um, drop down even further and do 24 hour fast. And so I'll be playing around with my fasting window um, in January. And so um, it's really important to me to kind of like find a place where I, you know, um, you know, am able to fast and, um, you know, feel good because starting tomorrow, I'm going to begin the exercise portion of my journey. And I have committed myself to walking at 20,000 steps every day and doing calinetics every day. And I'm gonna need, you know, strength and energy to, you know, sustain that New Year's resolution. So I am not only gonna be playing around with my fasting window, I'm also probably going to have to play around with how much food I eat. I think I'm going to need to, um, you know, up my food intake a little bit because when I was going hard with the exercise over the summer, I found that I was just, you know, really hungry and was not eating enough. And so um, this is all, you know, stuff that I'm gonna, you know, play around with um, you know in January and see how it goes but I am really looking forward to the exercise portion of my journey because like I said I have committed myself to doing 20,000 steps a day and also doing Calinetics, which is a toning program. And so um, basically, um, Calinetics is a program that was created in the 80s by a woman named Callan Pickney, hence the name of the uh, program. And what she does is that she gets you into a stretch, and once you're in that stretch, she has you do these tiny pulsing movements. And so I was doing this over the summer, and I was really starting to see results before I completely dropped the ball with my exercise. And so I'm looking forward to getting back on track with this and being consistent with it and, you know, sticking with it um, in the long term. And I think, you know, all this exercise is going to, you know, not only transform my life physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well. And so I'm really excited about, about this, you know, part of my journey. But anyways, you know, what I wanted to talk about in today's video is the ultimate goal of my journey. And so for the longest time, I thought the ultimate goal of my journey was to get to my goal weight, which is 109 pounds. That is basically what I weighed for all of my adult life before I started having weight issues. And so I'm still, you know, looking to, you know, get back to 109 pounds. But right now, um, it's no longer a priority because I kind of like feel like when I start, um, you know, my 
exercise journey. I think what's going to happen is with the um, reduced fasting hours and the upped food intake, what I think is going to happen is that I'm probably going to maintain my weight. But even though I might maintain my weight, I think I'm going to really um, get lean with the exercise that I'm doing and that I'm going to start um, to see um, some toning definition. And so, um, you know, I still want to get to 109 pounds, but um, basically the ultimate goal of my journey right now is freedom. I want to get to a place where I can completely trust myself um, to make the right decisions for myself and that I can, you know, completely let go of, um, you know, tracking everything and just kind of like go about my um, life knowing that I'm going to do the right thing. And so... I have really enjoyed, you know, this week of freedom that I've had, and it's made me see that this is what I want to, you know, do. This is the ultimate goal that I'm leading toward. And so I'm not there yet. I'm not in that place yet. I think that I um, need to be consistent with my exercise before I'm ready to completely let go. But um, that's definitely a goal that I'm working toward um, this year, and I'm really excited about it. And um, basically what that's going to look like for me when I'm there is, that I'm going to basically get rid of the scale. I'm not going to, you know, use the scale anymore. I'm not going to, um, uh, you know, track anything anymore. I'm just going to, you know, trust in myself to make the right decisions and just know that I um, will do the right thing to be able to keep the weight off. And um, I probably the only thing that I will do is continue to take weekly pictures of myself to monitor my progress. And also, um, you know, kind of like, um, see how things feel with my clothes. And, and so that's probably the only things that I'm really going to, you know, do. But um, I am looking forward to this day. Um, you know, the scale um, has definitely um, been helpful in, you know, seeing my progress. But, you know, it's also driven me crazy getting on the scale every morning. It's been quite the, you know, roller coaster ride for me. And I just would w one day love to be completely free of, you know, um, getting on the scale and, you know, tracking everything. And this week, I can't even tell you like how amazing this week felt, you know, you know, just letting myself be free. And so that's kind of like the ultimate goal of my journey now is to get to that place where I can do that. And I think that I will probably by the end of 2023 be at that place where I can, you know, finally say I'm ready to, you know, let go of all these things that I've been doing that have definitely helped me. They definitely serve my purpose. They definitely helped me stay on track. But now I think that I'm able to kind of like stay on track on my own. And so... Uh, Anyways, so stay tuned for that. And like I said, it won't happen until I get to a place where I can be consistent with my exercise. And so um, that's kind of like where I'm headed toward, um, you know. And so anyways, I wanted to share that with you today. Um, that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing New Year's Eve and that you stay safe. And um, I will see you tomorrow. And, um, you know, 2023 is going to be the best year yet for all of us. And so anyways, um, take care and have a great Saturday. Bye.